Uh, next, we have Love and Death. Did anyone watch Love and Death? Fuck yeah. Gil watched it. Adam, did Every you Every episode, including I, the I actually, series season finale. I actually saw it a year ago. Uh, yes, we will talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to talk about that right now. So Love and Death, and I actually looked this up, Adam. It's about the Candy Montgomery murders. Yeah. If that sounds familiar, it's because there was a Hulu show last year called Candy. But here's the thing, Adam. Love and Death was in development and I think started filming first. Did you watch Candy? I did not watch Candy. Okay, so you don't actually know which one's gooder. I don't. No, Come I'm not comparing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Tony didn't even catch it. I but I caught it, it, Adam. Does I caught it. I You're caught on it. my list. <laughs> I caught it now. Uh, Candy, apparently, like, somehow this book, which we're going to get to in a second, was licensed to both. Um, and they didn't know about each other. Like, I guess they found out because Candy went in production second and somehow came out first. I don't know what happened with Love and Death. Was Candy not that good? Did Candy seem rushed? That could probably uh, explain it. Candy was actually okay, but it was yeah. too many episodes. Whatever it was, I don't remember. I just remember thinking this could have been a movie, and it probably should have been an hour and a half movie, get in and get out, instead of yeah. a mini series of four episodes that were over an hour long. Yeah, so uh, apparently Jessica Biel had to call like Elizabeth Olsen, and they had to like make sure they didn't hate each other, and they were like fine with it. This is like uh, a vin this is like a vintage thing Hollywood used to do. Don't you remember yes. when like ants and Bugs Life and a, a Deep Impact and Armageddon? Was, we all remember. Yeah, yeah. It was, remember there was that year crazy. with two Snow White movies. That was weird. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, Snow White and the Huntsman. And yeah. However, this was this was also a movie in the '90s, guys, called A Killing in a Small Town, starring mm. Barbara Hershey. Now, again, this is a real life uh, crime that happened or well, I guess it's not a crime or a murder technically, according to the law. Uh, but these stories were told in a book called Evidence of Love by John Bloom and Jim Atkinson. And the only reason I watch uh, Love and Death is because John Bloom was tweeting about how it was an adaptation of his work. Now, you might be listening to this going, who the fuck is John Bloom? Why does Tony know who this person is? It's because that is the real life name of famous horror host Joe Bob Briggs from Monster Vision and currently The Last Drive-In. Now, if Joe Bob Briggs sounds familiar, it's because he was in my Howling episode of this show. So I actually had a whole episode with the writer of this book that the show was based off of, and I didn't read the book. I have since bought it. I will give it a shot. Um, but yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, uh, Gil said the season finale was today. I didn't get a chance to watch the season finale. I love the whole cast of characters. Uh, they're very quirky. Uh, how Elizabeth Olsen plays Candy is very wacky, um, but also a little charming. She's doing something I'm not used to seeing her doing. Uh, Jesse Plemons. What the fuck is up with Hollywood and Jesse Plemons? Why is... <laughs> Why is this guy he's just like the, he's the best he's like the consistent go-to every man you put in all these like uh, dramatic tv shows like fargo and shit yeah um he so basically the story is candy montgomery had a uh, an affair with this guy i believe his name was alan um yeah. alan gore uh his wife found out at one point and then they found out that his wife was uh hacked to death 40 something times with an axe no. and candy was the one who did it there was a trial i mean not like spoilers for the show people just know this uh she was technically found not guilty for self-defense uh because it wasn't it definitely wasn't a uh premeditated murder or anything i think i think that woman actually did come at candy with an axe now why candy decided to keep stabbing her 40 something times that's that's f that will forever be a mystery we'll never know because she doesn't like to talk about it shockingly enough uh but yeah it's just a very fun show uh the trial part i'm deep into the trial part and that part's really her lawyer who is the guy from iron fist uh he's so good he like he he's got this feud with the judge like he's being held in contempt of court because he's yelling at the judge it's like dude what the fuck are you doing um i don't know joey and gill what, what, what did you think of this show well, I, if you recall, Tony, after watching the first episode, <laughs> I texted you and said that I fucking hated this. It was the most <laughs> awkward, uncomfortable thing I think I've ever watched. And then 
I watched the second episode and I'm hooked. I can't stop watching it. Yeah. But the first episode is very, very uncomfortable and awkward. <laughs> and I was with a girl on my couch, a real life girl <laughs> on my couch. I don't know why you had to stress real life girl. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> now, Joe, Joey, now that you've put more emphasis on this girl existing, it just makes us think she doesn't exist. You could have just stopped at a girl, and we would have been like, okay, Joey had a girl over. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure Joey part. talks to his mom on occasion, and they might watch shows together. I believe it. No, it was... Uh... <laughs> so, Gil, what did you think of the movie? Wait, wait, Joey, do you have a picture of this girl? What, what school does she go to? Is she from out of town? <laughs> I left it in my other pants. <laughs> she... You know what? It was it was a body pillow. I'm sorry. I there's other people watching the stream. I thought I could impress them and get more friends, but it just didn't work out. Damn. Uh, I think whatever get, get, Joey Mom, felt watching up. the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever Joey felt watching the first episode of this show is what I'm feeling right now. I think. <laughs> uh, awkward and uncomfortable. What what was your, what was your takeaway from uh, Love and Death? What did you think of it overall? Um, I really liked it. Uh, I think actually awkward and uncomfortable, I think are pretty good words for the first couple of episodes Yeah. because one thing I liked about it so much is it was kind of a breath of fresh air for me because I feel like everything we watch is all this high concept stuff, Marvel, or even the stuff I'm watching week to week right now, like barrier yeah. succession. It's just these characters that travel in worlds I do not travel in. So it was nice to watch ordinary people, especially Elizabeth Olsen to go from like Scarlet Witch to just playing, I was going to say normal person, but I guess a little bit of a question mark on that. But to see these ordinary <laughs> people who then have to deal with murder, or even before that, just watching the affair happen, it's, it's clearly something they don't have yeah. any experience doing. And watching the two characters kind of fumble their way through it. Uh, at one point, Alan is making a list of reasons why he should have the affair. <laughs> That's and right. uh, like <laughs> number two is companionship. Number three is just sex. Sex. <laughs> I'm a simple man, guys. How yeah. does Elizabeth Olsen look in this one? Okay, okay, I'll okay. Watch yeah. I'll watch there's, it. There's, there's, there is one flaw with this. Oh, by the way, Kristen Ritter is also in this. She has a small part in it. Okay. okay. Um, and also the girl playing uh, the wife isn't too bad looking. They kind of dress her to look like an angry Karen lady from the late 70s. Uh, but That's she's kind of cute. Too. Here, here's the problem. Big problem. Big, big problem. Big and I, problem. I had, I literally texted Joey my complaints about this. So, okay, look at this guy. Yeah. Obviously, he's a celebrity. He could probably get a lot of girls. But picture him in this world. He's able to land this babe, right? He's able to land Elizabeth Olsen. You're talking they have a fat, bunch. Of, you're talking about Fat Demon. Yes. Uh, they have multiple sex scenes, and this is apparently a world. Where, and even her husband, every guy who has sex with Elizabeth Olsen in this universe, they just want to keep her top on. They just want to keep her top on. Okay. I'm sitting there and I'm like, no, I'm like, this is the most unrealistic thing. Unless I read that book and it says Candy never took her top off. I'm like, there's no fucking way. Yeah. They're That's leaving that. And by the way, by the way, you might be like, oh, Elizabeth Olsen doesn't want to do nudity. No, no she does nudity. Yeah. <laughs> she has a shower later on when they're putting her in prison in jail. And it's like, wait a minute. That, none of this makes sense. I was very, very disappointed in it. But no, she looks great in it. Um, okay. You might remember Candy gave her that really curly hair. Uh, not in that image, but a lot of the advertisement for Candy was like her with that perm. I think maybe Elizabeth Olsen has the perm like once. Uh, which I guess is inaccurate because when you look up pictures of Candy Montgomery, she has that perm. So uh, they were like, no, we're not making uh, Elizabeth Olsen look like that. We need to to look like the most beautiful woman ever to exist. Who's the uh, but yeah, no, it was, who's the they you're talking about? Who are these strangers with candy that you're referring to? Uh, the, the the producers of the show. I'm pretending. Oh, okay. I just them. wanted to use that joke. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not not as good as your gooder callback. Not as good as your gooder <laughs> callback. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed the show more than I thought I would. I don't really care about true crime stuff too much. Honestly, whenever there's like a true crime movie or show or something, I just, I just Google what really happened and I read it and then I'm like, good, got it. And then I go on with my day. It's very rare. I want to watch like a dramatization of this stuff. Uh, but no, this one was very, very well written, uh, and just very well acted. Some of the best performances I've seen in a long time. 
And like I said, it's just quirky enough to keep it like a little bit light, even though it's about a very dark topic. Mm -hmm. Uh, But yeah, I'd say uh, check it out, as Joe Bob Briggs says. Joe Bob Briggs. Is it a series or a movie or? It's a series. It's on. Oh, it's on Max. Yes. Guys, it's on Max. How many episodes? Yeah, you confused me, Tony. You were like HBO Max. I was like, what the hell is that? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I think it's seven episodes, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it flies by though. I will tell you, it does fly by. Um, yeah, the whole Max thing. By the way, I don't pay for HBO Max. I steal Johanna's account. Uh, but now the she money, forgot the money you're uh, saving there. You're converting to a blue check mark on Twitter. Yes, yes, okay. that's very Perfect. important. I need yep. that blue check mark to be more important than everyone. Right. Okay. All those True. years. All those years. The our Silicon Valley tech lord said that I wasn't important. Well. Look who's got the blue check now. Who's laughing now? <laughs> who's laughing now? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, the whole Max thing. Like, all right, whatever. They changed the name or whatever. That's stupid. You have to download an entirely new app. I was like, what the yeah. fuck is this? What? Just change the branding and the name. Why did you make an entirely new app? What's more um, crazy, Tony, did you have to log in once you downloaded it? Because it remembered all my shit. No, on my TV, it lo- so I, I lost the password for Johanna's HBO Max account, mm. and she can't remember what the password is. So I've lost Max on my desktop and my phone. No longer have it, but it's still on my TV. And thank God, when it turned into Max, it just carried over automatically. Yeah. That's. I thought that was more bizarre, that you download yes. a new app and it still somehow remembers like the caching. It's crazy. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah, I would say check out that. It is very, very fun. Um, oh, real quick. Uh, I want to circle back to From Black just for a second, Joey. That quote at the beginning of From Black, it said the dark is generous and it is patient and it always wins. But in the heart of its strength lies its weakness. One lone candle is enough to hold it back. Love is more than a candle. Love can ignite the stars. That was the quote at the beginning of the movie. Do you know where that quote's from? No. No. The Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith novelization. What the fuck? I I guess the guy who made that movie read the novelization for Revenge of the Sith and liked that line and started his movie about a heroin addict whose son died and she summons a demon with a fucking Star Wars novelization quote. By the way, that is the only bit of trivia on IMDb. <laughs> I'm I like, wow, have to watch what the that movie fuck? now just to see if there's other lines from Star Wars in there. I don't I've, think there are. I've got I the high ground now. <laughs> like, oh my god. I love it. It's not even Star Wars episode 3. It's the novelization for yeah. Star Wars episode 